Absolutely heartbreaking, Susan. We've been here all day long, and people have been coming by. Take a look at this growing memorial. They've been dropping off candles, flowers, some toys for baby Alonso, who lost his life in this tragic accident. Some are saying a prayer. Now, others are demanding answers. They want to know why that driver was going so fast. I don't understand. I don't understand. The heartache is palpable. He's gone. He's gone. Family and friends of the six people killed in a fiery crash in Windsor Hills on Thursday are struggling to cope with such a tremendous loss. It seems like when I woke up today, it was worse. Because today we really realized that they're gone. Her sister, Asheray Ryan, was pregnant and on her way to a doctor's appointment at the time of the deadly accident. Her boyfriend, Reynold Lester, and 11-month-old baby, Alonso Quintero, were also killed. Two other women and a man died in the crash, but their names have not been released. The baby's her unborn child, like, it's just a lot. Cousin Demetria Williams doesn't understand why anyone would run a red light at such high speeds. And I'm like, what were you thinking about? 37-year-old Nicole Lorraine Linton is the driver behind the speeding Mercedes that caused the fiery crash. While six people lost their lives, Linton survived. CHP arrested her on suspicion of vehicular manslaughter and gross negligence. And it's always like that. The ones who do the car crashes are the ones who walk away with no bruises, no pain, no nothing. And families are suffering. I feel for both parties. Glenda Jamison brings a different perspective. She says 18 years ago, she was convicted of vehicular manslaughter. Two people lost their lives. I did 17 years, 17 years, and Lord knows I didn't mean to do it. But I was not in my right mind. You never know what a person is going through at that particular time in their life. But Rayon Ray, who just lost her cousin, defending the driver is simply not okay. My cousin, she didn't deserve that. No, she, didn't. she was pregnant with a baby, with a child in her stomach, and had another child that ain't even turned one yet. In the end, both women hugged and understood each other's pain. As for Asheray's sister, Shoshana, this is her message for the driver. We are going through so much pain right now, but we forgive you. And we forgive you because we know that you have to live with this for the rest of your life as punishment. While heartbroken over their loss, Asheray's family says they appreciate all the love and support they have been getting from Angelinos. Reporting from Windsor Hills, I'm Gina Silva, Fox 11 News.